was in show business, and of course, during the war, you had to do your war effort that you had to do. Everybody had to do something. And my, because I was an entertainer, I went on Ensa, and um, I was at the whole during the war. It was yes. a different town each week. And well. were you were you singing and dancing? Playing the piano. Oh, yes. piano. Yeah. Oh, fantastic! I was singing. Yeah. Actually, I, from the age of seven, I was in show business more or less. Yes. So. Yeah. And how did that come about? Is that something that your parents were quite keen for you no. to do? Well, no. my grandmother had a piano, old piano, and I grew up with my grandmother. Did you? So, Gosh, yes. so did I. How funny. She had the old piano, and she used to sit me on her lap, mm -hmm. and she wrote on the keys, like middle C, yeah. that, so, and the music in front. And um, that's how she taught me. How was your mother's life different from yours? Very, very different. Mostly, my grandmother was a Victorian lady, mm. so it was strict. But there again, see, the war came. Mm. That, the 1418 war yeah. came. So that interrupt. War does interrupt your life. Mm. Instead of it running smoothly, you, yes, you you do things that you wouldn't normally. My mother, she did all kind of jobs because it was wartime, yes. and she had an older sister, yeah. my aunt, and um, they they both. Did work and even my grandmother used mm. to go. She had her husband away at war and her son mm. both away at war. This is my grandmother. Mm. So and then it was like the three women more mm. or less took the man in the, the house. Mm. I think my my mother's life and my life are different in as much as she didn't work until she was much older and she separated from my father. Then she started. Until that point, she hadn't really worked that much. Um, I don't think the onus then was on her to work when she yeah. met my father. She expected him to be the main breadwinner. Whereas it, when I met my husband, I was already working and had every intention of continuing to work. There was never really any discussion around that. We would both go out and earn money. And probably, if I'm honest, my career is slightly behind my husband's career because of having children, taking time out to look after them, working part-time. So I've probably accommodated them more than he has, and as a result, I think my career isn't as advanced maybe as his, his is right now. I have to say that becoming 50 is bothering me. I can kind of put it almost in chunks. So, you know, I was at university, had my education, worked and lived abroad for sort of five, six years, got my career off the ground, and then I had children. I feel like this is my time, really, because they're less dependent on me. So I suppose I'm anxious that I'm not going to, I've kind of forgotten a bit about who I am and what I, what I like and what I want to do. I think between 50 and 70, that's the time that you really, but when you're old, like the age I am now, yeah. I think, oh, I should have really made more of that. That particular so? time, yes. Yeah, that's uh, but interesting. But in my time, people were old when they were 40. Yes. I mean, were made to feel old. Yeah. Um, because they used to say, all oh, life begins at 40, as if it, you know, yeah. saying it was the other way around, more yeah, or less. Yeah. And it was funny, age was different. People used to get married earlier. Yeah. So by the time somebody was, say, 25 or 28, they were left on the shelf. Yes. I mean, we don't that's hear nothing as, now, We don't even have mm. words. <laughs> We wouldn't even say that now about something left on the shelf. But then, you, when you get to, say, 60, mm. I thought, oh, I won't have to work anymore. Well, there is that, <laughs> yes. It's <laughs> going, yeah, yeah. it's all there. Yeah, I've no pressure now. Now I can, I can relax now. I'm a pensioner at yeah. 60. Yeah, yeah. So, so now I think, goodness, you were bad. You've had 35 years, what have you done with those 35 years? You should have been, you know, to me. Yeah. Instead of relaxing and thinking, oh, I'm 60 now, mm. um, I should have been going on because I still realised I was still able to sing well yes. yeah. then in those days. And I was looking at actually looking OK until I was about 75. Then everything started to go to pieces. I, I think 80, yes, when I was 80, then I felt, bit old yeah. and of course it didn't help I had things all happening like my hip operation and yeah. you know that yeah. and then you think oh dear it's all gloom and doom but you get over that and yes. then you go on to yeah. you, know, you know another piece of life yeah. and now when I was 90 I thought oh I'm lucky to be 90 so this year I'm 95 and I think oh well well you know <laughs> yeah 
So what's, what's the secret of, of looking so fabulous and <laughs> <laughs> at 95? <laughs> Please tell me. <laughs> it's it's um, a bit of a challenge because you have to put your lippy on and you make sure it makes difficult. <laughs> things get difficult. Life is full of challenges. Yes. I think you need a sense of humour. Yes. Is life better now? Different. Different. Yeah. Mm. In some ways, life is easier, but it's, people aren't as kind and people aren't as nice. Yeah. Younger people forget that when they're looking at somebody old, they're looking at somebody who got up to the same mischief yes. and has gone through everything that they've gone through, the same emotions, yes. made the same silly mistakes, mm. and sometimes been wiser and cleverer or more stupid. Yeah. But you don't realise it. Thank you.